<laughs> I'm kidding. All right, action. So I started mowing yard. Why are you laughing? Sorry. I like to say I, it gets me mentally prepared. Action. So I started mowing lawns when I was eight years old in Allen, Texas. Uh, my mom was really, really close friends with the, the woman next door. And she had begun to get uh, rudimentary, uh, like rheumatoid arthritis. That's the, that's the word for it. But she had started, uh, arthritis had really started bothering her. And she was the one that mowed her yard at her house. And she actually enjoyed doing it other than her arthritis started bothering her. I'm eight years old. My mom says, EJ can do it. And um, that Judy seemed kind of shocked. And, but she said, well, okay. And she hired me for five bucks to mow her front yard. And I remember being told that the lawnmower that she had, because I didn't have my own lawnmower, she used her own, but the lawnmower she had was a really nice, fancy, commercial-grade lawnmower. And so they showed me how to use it. I was barely big enough to be over the, the top of it. But, uh, and then my next customer came from just somebody down the street that was willing to pay me 20 bucks for the whole yard. And I thought that was a fortune. But that's how I got started. Like, I was just by myself mowing yards as consistently as a 12-year-old would do them. Uh, but fast forward to high school and I could use some help. And I started realizing, well, I'm going to go on summer vacation. I was a boy scout. So I took a week and went, went to scout camp. Uh, and so I paid my best friend 50% of the job plus gave him my equipment to run around. And he had this little SUV. We were 16, just, just right out having a car. And, uh, he would load it up in his little Nissan Pathfinder and uh, the, the hatch would be open and he'd go and mow yards. I remember he mowed yards in flip-flops. Uh, wouldn't recommend that. But um, that was my first and I remember thinking, wow, this is brilliant. <laughs> Brett, <laughs> that, that's when you're a new cue. You'll start cracking up when I take too long. Really good. I wasn't even done yet. <laughs> so we hire our first guy. I'm going on various vacations throughout the year. And so I'm realizing, well, I need to, I, I got to get somebody to keep mowing these yards. And so they were supposed to, I didn't even have a phone line. They called my parents landline. This is back when there were landlines and barely cell phones. And uh, I'm 16, have my friend uh, mow the yards for half, half the cost, so 12.50. And the way he looked at it, it was, he could get it done in less than an hour and he only made like eight bucks an hour. And so he made more, more you know, he made $12 an hour in these cases. So worked for him. And then I began to realize, wow, if I could have five of those, I wouldn't have to do anything. And that wasn't true at all, but that was the way I looked at it as a 16 year old. I didn't, have, I wouldn't have any yards to mow and I'd make half on each one of them. And that's kind of where it started to build as far as thinking about having additional team members. We were in class together. We were seniors. So this is maybe another year, another year or so later. Uh, we were seniors and we were in a, a computer class together. And back then it was, we considered it a blow off class. Little did we know, but that's why I still peck whenever I'm typing. But uh, he and I played around in that class and we'd always go to lunch together, but he, he wanted to get into mowing. And to this day, he's still in the mowing business, but he and I got together. We were never partners, but we did mow yards together and alongside each other. We helped each other out, but we were always independent business owners. In fact, he just sent me an email, no, a text the other day that had a, it was actually a picture. I started to send it to you guys, but he said something along. Now I got to pull it up, but he said, he said it was a picture, like a selfie with him, his hedge trimmer and the Chorby yard sign. And he said, uh, friendly competitors for 20 years and going strong or something like that. It's an awesome picture, but he says coexisting for 20 plus years. Wow, and it's got the Chorby awesome. sign. It's even a pretty good picture. Yeah. When you started to realize that mowing was isolated and that a customer in their home could need so much more than that. And you wanted to be the solution to that. So really what I want you to focus on right now is when you realized that there was a problem and an opportunity that you could capitalize on. Okay. So I didn't realize that there was a problem in the, in the way that you would have this light bulb moment and realize, oh my goodness, uh, all of these home services could be lumped together. Lots of people have thought of that idea. It's just really hard to execute on. I had probably thought of the idea. I've always had an interest in all home service businesses. I would drive, I can drive down the road and I love fancy cars and fast cars, but I also, as much as I might do a double take when I see a cool car, I'll do a double take driving down the road with almost any service vehicle because it has always intrigued me. And that's been the case since I was a kid. Um, that's why I believe I was made to do this. But it didn't really occur to me in how to do that. That was an evolution. And that fasts forward all the way into my 30s. Uh, that was not something. In my 20s, there was the interest. 
in these things, but there was no, in my mind, an attainable way to do it. I could barely keep up with what I had mowing yards and doing lawn care and pest control. Uh, so it wasn't until 2018, I've been in business 12 years, uh, before I really started realizing that it, we were at a point where we could begin to brand and begin to think about expanding, not owning 12 different brands and 12 different home services, but we could build one brand, uh, one brand with 12 different home services or 20 or 30 for that matter, all of them. And we could really become a disruptor in home services, do something in a way that has never been done before, partially because it's so difficult, but th that's where technology comes in. Today, Chorby Technologies is a company that has been established and it has zero dollars in its bank account. Uh, it's, it's, it's just, it's at nothing. It's the earliest possible stages. A bank account was opened a month ago. And uh, how we got to that point, I am not extremely tech savvy, although I love to think about the future and how technology will change the future. I love to look back the last 5, 10, 15, 25 years, my lifetime, 30, 40 years, and see how technology uh, has been utilized and how it has changed every aspect of our lives. Uh, so I've always been had that interest, but I don't know a lot about the details. I'm not an engineer by any means. I don't understand the back end of how technology works, but I understood franchising. And so 2019, we become Chorby, and I'm on the mindset of franchising. And then it wasn't until 2022, early 2022, uh, 18 months ago, that I realized, crap, there's no technology to do this. And so I kind of fell into the idea that Chorby, as much as anything, is going to be a technology platform for its franchisees and probably even beyond that, for its clients as well, for its franchisees and for its clients. Um, and so we're really at the very cusp of that. Well, imagine right now, uh, actually I, as we speak, am waiting on the HVAC guy to get here to my house for air conditioning. And earlier this morning, I had the lawn care crew here. Two days ago, I had sprinkler guys here. Um, luckily, half of those more than half more than half of those services I get to deal with one entity already, Chorby. But the HVAC is a different company, and if I needed a plumbing, I actually have a drain issue in my shower right now. That would require me to go and find a whole separate company. And so, as a homeowner who loves conveniences myself, I am my ideal client. A homeowner who loves the conveniences of having home services to be able to come to your house and keep things in order and keep things maintained, as opposed to doing them myself. Uh, I, I don't want to have to call 25 different companies. I want to be able to call one company. And that's the concept of Chorby, and that's where it's really going to innovate and, and really disrupt home services if we can get the technology working uh, in, in cohesion with an incredible client accounts team and client care team. If we can get those two things working uh, in a way that is uncomparable to any current home services business, then our client support... You, you, tacking on to technology is going to make us a disruptor in the industry. Well, at the end of the day, it's the, it's the fact that you have one person, one point of contact to help you manage all of those, all of the repairs and all of the maintenance and all of the services that your home needs to function properly. You can call one account manager for all of those things. Granted, they're going to be a part of a larger team. Those people obviously have to take days off, but you'll have one primary point of contact for everything from your garage door repair to your pool repair. Yeah, we're still we're not going to become Google anytime soon, I, 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 if ever. Uh, we still are going to have a phone number, and our client account managers are still going to be answering the phones. Uh, I think that's actually an area that this industry, I, I should say, the lawn and landscapes industry of home services is actually way behind on already. It's, I mean, you can call 10 lawn and landscape businesses and probably only get two to answer your call. We want to take it to continued 24-7. We actually, that's one of our goals for 2023 and 2024 is to get to a 24-7 uh, ability to answer the phone calls uh, so that we're not, we're actually even better than we have been in the past, uh, being more so uh, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. We're going to extend that to 24-7. What you can expect with Chorby is that we're going to get the job done and we're going to get it done right and we're going to take great care of you.